Good day students, I'm Laurie Kins and today we're going to synthesize aspirin. We're going to do this by adding salicylic acid to acetic anhydride. We're going to follow a few steps using ice and water and then we're going to filter out our crystals using a Buchner funnel. Thereafter you have your purified aspirin crystals and as easy as that we have homemade aspirin. So we're going to start this experiment by weighing out salicylic acid. So now we're going to measure seven milliliters of acetic anhydride in a measuring cylinder. Now we're going to add the two together. And we're going to let the two then react. You can see the formation of bubbles and fizzing. This is an indication that the reaction is taking place. We're going to help this reaction along by placing it in a warm water bath. So we're now going to add sulfuric acid to help the reaction along. So we have to wait until everything is dissolved and a way to make sure that everything is dissolved is the liquid will be clear and you can make sure that there aren't any crystals lying at the bottom. So once we've heated it, we're going to place it over into an ice bath. So now that we've added our solution into the ice water and if all of the ice is dissolved, we can prepare the Buchner funnel. So remember that it's a vacuum filter and we need to have a filter paper in it. So once we've turned on the Buchner funnel, we can add a few drops of water just to make sure everything sucks properly. And then with the vacuum on, we can add our solution. Remember that it's important to make sure all of your ice is dissolved before adding it to your Buchner funnel. Not because it will block the solution, but because any ice left is later going to add as a crystal weight. It's important to get as many crystals out as you possibly can, because this is going to affect your percentage yield. So with the Buchner funnel, it's important to use it when we want our crystals to be dried out of any water. So as you can see, if I move the crystals around at the moment, they clump together. This shows that they're still wet. So we're going to have to wait until these crystals stop clumping together and then we know that all of the water has been removed. So now you can see that the crystals move around more freely. This shows that they are dry and they don't clump together anymore. When they're dry like this, this is when we can weigh them. So first we need to weigh the watch glass before we add the crystals to it. So following this video, you now have the measurements for everything we've done in this experiment. We're going to use these measurements to fill in your report sheet. You'll see that there is a limiting reagent and the report sheet is going to guide you using these limiting reagents to calculate your percentage yield from this experiment. Thereafter, we are going to do a part two where we look at the purity of our homemade aspirin. Even though we now know how to make aspirin, it is not recommended that you use this at home. Rather refer to the medical grade aspirin that is still bought. We'll see you in the next video to do the analysis of our homemade aspirin. Goodbye.